What's up, TPS fans? You know who I be. And today we dive into the 10 worst performances by great quarterbacks. And a big shout out thank you to Nick Berry for suggesting this video. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel. The greatest quarterbacks in NFL history were so dominant that anytime they had a bad game, we never forgot. These quarterbacks are only human, so they're not perfect, and they're bound to have their bad days. But some of these awful performances were like, really bad, like off the charts terrible. Number 10, Tom Brady, the Monday Night Football Massacre in Kansas City. Tom Brady's New England Patriots visited the Kansas City Chiefs in week four of the 2014 season. The crowd at Arrowhead set a record for the loudest fan noise in the game. And for good reason, the Chiefs pummeled Brady so bad that the media began questioning if Tommy Terrific was washed up. Three, they couldn't stay on the field and extend any of these drives. This was a third and sixth play. Justin Houston entered the night with three sets. Never comfortable. This is well, New England's next possession. You give Kansas City the lead. You get the short pass to Brandon LaFell. It's intercepted. Brady completed Hussein just 14 Abdullah, passes for 100 And he's bringing it 39 yards for the pick six. Number nine, Russell Wilson, rude rookie awakening at St. Louis. It took the Seattle Seahawks a few games to find out they had a rookie quarterback in Russell Wilson. Their week four 2012 game against the St. Louis Rams wasn't an indicator of who Wilson was about to become. On first down, great kick. There you go, baby. Here they come, Russell Wilson back, looking, hit the ball, up the it, it. and it's intercepted to 20. Rocky McIntosh in the return, 35, Hold 40, the ball. and now he gets it stripped from behind. No, he has crowd the line of scrimmage. They rush five. Russell Wilson gonna take off and run for it, gonna get thrown through. He's coming off the edge. Wilson has time initially. Now he's hit drop at the 13 yard line. Shotgun. He'll take it. Set up. Throw right side. His receiver fell down and Bradley. Wilson had just 160 yards, three interceptions, and was sacked twice in a losing effort. Number eight, Kurt Warner's awful going out party. After nearly leading the Arizona Cardinals to a Super Bowl 43 victory, Kurt Warner decided to give it one more go round for the 2009 season. Warner led the Cardinals to the NFC Divisional round against the top seeded New Orleans Saints. Unfortunately for Warner, his career ending was anything but pretty. The Cardinals too. <laughs> Second quarter, Kurt Warner throws it up for grabs. Dallin Sharper comes down. Again, two plays later, Kurt Warner, look out as Will Smith picks him off and Warner gets oh boy. blown yes. up. Trying to go for tough guy. Third and five. Warner under pressure, incomplete to Steve Preston. Cardinals force a punt. You can see though that it is effective. Warner left the game injured and was replaced by Matt Liner. Arizona lost 45 to 14. Warner had just 205 yards and posted a woeful 33.4 quarterback rating. Number seven, Aaron Rodgers in the 2014 NFC Championship. Aaron Rodgers took home the 2014 NFL MVP after tossing 38 touchdowns and just five interceptions. His Green Bay Packers then had the ultra difficult task of defeating the Seattle Seahawks in the NFC Championship game. On the road, too. Cobb in the backfield. Protection, end zone, Adams, and picked by Sherman. Second and goal. This is Nelson off his right hand incomplete. Rodgers on the middle, passes off the hands of Randall Cobb. Back inside Seattle territory, and here's a pick. It's Maxwell. And it happens at the end of the play, and Bruce Irvin actually holds up, and Rodgers goes down. I think he was maybe trying to get a flag out of that play. Here's the same look, essentially, that Russell Wilson had on the end. Oh. Pass to Cornish, broken up. Fourth down with K.J. Wright. Blitz. Rodgers, sideline, not on the same page with Rodgers. The MVP wound up with just 178 yards and a 47.7 rating. Seattle pulled off an improbable comeback to reach their second straight Super Bowl. Number six, Joe Montana conquered by the Vikings in the 1987 playoffs. Many regard Joe Montana as the greatest quarterback in NFL history. He went 4-0 in Super Bowls and never tossed an interception in the big game. Montana very rarely had a bad playoff game, but the San Francisco 49ers 1987 divisional round matchup against the Minnesota Vikings was by far the worst game of Montana's career. Ever thrown in his career. Now the near sideline to the 20, the 15, the 10, the 5, touchdown Reggie Rutland. Second down, play action. And overthrows Wilson under pressure. 40 yards of offense so far. Minnesota. Montana gets time, but good coverage. Now he tries to improvise to Wilson. 
Play action. Montana has Rice down the middle. Incomplete. Good reaction by Jim. Under pressure. Incomplete. Intended. Third down. Sack. No touchdown for Montana. He finished with 109 yards, was sacked four times, and got replaced by Steve Young. It was that ugly. Number five. Donovan McNabb in the 2003 NFC Championship. The Philadelphia Eagles reached the 2003 NFC Championship game, courtesy of the high-flying offense led by elite quarterback Donovan McNabb. The Eagles faced the surprising Carolina Panthers at home, and the expectation was for McNabb to lead Philly to the Super Bowl. But the Panthers' defense played lights out. McNabb in trouble and down by Witherspoon. McNabb down the sideline. The Pinkston, not about the ice low key comment. Blitz, McNabb is pushed down. And, and down goes Donovan McNabb from Cousin. He's picked up. The pass is picked off by Manning to get off the ground. On third down, there's Manning again, another pick. Killing the Eagles right now. Third down and 13. McNabb guns it. It's in the air, and it's Manning again. His third of the night. Ricky. Ricky Manning picked off McNabb three times. The Panthers defense sacked McNabb four times. He was held to 10 completions for 100 yards. And yeah, Carolina won 14 to three. Number four, Tom Brady's first home playoff loss. The Patriots hosted the Baltimore Ravens in the 2009 wildcard round. Tom Brady had never lost a home playoff game, so the expectation was that the Patriots would cruise into the divisional round. Wrong. Ice, next set of downs for Brady. Oh. Taken down by Terrell Suggs, T. Sizzle. From back in the NFL Network deck. Oh, boy. First play oh, on the play next set of downs, Ray Lewis. Except Brady didn't show up, and the Ravens defense did. Baltimore won 33-14. Brady tossed three picks and finished with a terrible 49.1 quarterback rating. Number three, Peyton Manning Super Bowl 48 meltdown. Everyone was excited for Super Bowl 48. It featured MVP Peyton Manning in a record-breaking Denver Broncos offense versus the Seattle Seahawks in their great defense. Manning set the record for most touchdowns and passing yards in a season. Denver's 606 points were the most all time. That didn't matter in this one. It snapped over the head of Peyton Manning. A flag is down and the ball's out of the back of the end zone. Manning gets hit. Ball up for grabs. Picked off by Smith. Malcolm Smith, all alone, no flags, touchdown Seattle. Not Manning's best day as the Seahawks rolled to their first championship. Number two, Brett Favre, rammed by the Rams in the 01 playoffs. The 2001 NFC Divisional Round featured a great matchup between two elite quarterbacks, Brett Favre of the Green Bay Packers and Kurt Warner of the St. Louis Rams. Too bad for Packers fans that Favre had the worst game of his career. Ray flies to Nickelback. Five. Picked off. Aeneas Williams touchdown. Has it picked off. And did it for Freeman. That's Cam Herring. And Herring heads down the sideline. Keeper. Five. Has the ball deflected and intercepted. And that's Tommy Polly touchdown. In for the Green Bay Packers at their own 25. Intercepted it, bounce off the hands. This is Aeneas Williams' touchdown. Before he joined the Packers, he said, and more. And the pass is picked off by Dexter McLean. Another one of those bounce off interceptions. Six interceptions and two sacks on the night. Number one, Peyton Manning, the chief of bad games. The Denver Broncos hosted the Kansas City Chiefs in a critical week 10 bout between a pair of AFC West powerhouses. Peyton Manning was coming off his two best performances of the season, but this game against Kansas City was ugly. Ah. Manning going deep and is intercepted midfield. Manning on second and 10, and this pass is intercepted. Picked off by Sean Smith. Anderson is in the backfield. Takes on a blitzer and the pass is intercepted. So Manning completed five of 20 attempts for 35 yards. He tossed four picks and his passer rating was zero. What are some of the other horrible performances by great quarterbacks? Join us in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.